Hello everyone and welcome to morning coffee break. It's already stuffy and warm in here. Got the fan going. Okay, uh, today is Sunday, July 30th. Currently at 73 degrees. The high today is a little bit cooler. That's going to be feel like a, you know, springtime or something. 80 degrees for the high today. Uh, chance of precipitation 45%, which we could really use some, some rain for the garden. Uh, winds at five miles per hour. Uh, I said, well, you know, the yard needs some water. Joy said, I, I don't care if it dies. <laughs> I hate mowing. <laughs> So, I was like, okay. Okay, today, uh, yeah, yesterday I did a garden update video. It was rather warm out there, but I made it through it. <laughs> and uh, so I did a garden update video, and I showed the the pie pans, how I've got them out there. They're real easy to do, if you, and, they're, and they seem to be effective for me. So, you know, if you... Uh, if you have some problems with any kind of critters I don't think any of them like that pan banging around and the uh, the reflection off of those you know on a sunny day um, it, it just seems to be working I haven't had an incident since I put them up with the groundhog but, and I, I know there's it's the one I think that's out here that's the main problem I don't think these back here there's a couple there's one by the storm drain and then there's one in somebody else's yard back here. So that's three. But I've seen a total of four, I think, before. Um, I don't think them are coming up the, uh, in my yard like that. Uh, that one's just down in the very corner of our yard. Uh, anyway, uh, so, I mean, yeah. So I, I showed that. And I also showed where I put uh, some, I made some trellises for some more cucumbers and I put them where the zucchini uh, was and I put a row uh, with four different kinds of radishes and then I had some left over I put over there beside the um, eggplants. So I showed all that too. Um, so check it out everybody. Uh, what's for dinner? I think we're gonna have something easy. Um, we got some pizzas in the oven that we need to use. Um, one of them is that Yachty's you know, we got a supreme of that in that brand, and it was the, it was very pitiful. They have them at Walmart, but boy, I I, I don't recommend them. They're about seven bucks, uh, if from what I remember at Walmart, and there is really nothing on it. Uh, I had to really put everything on it that was on it practically. It was ridiculous. Um, but we got one that's a, uh, it's chicken. It's a. Uh, Oh, buffalo, buffalo chicken pizza, and it's bound to have not anything hardly on it, but I could put stuff on it. And then I got two of these ones. It's called uh, Wise Pies, and they're um, kind of small with their pepperoni, but we need to use those. And I've got one of those little square Totino's ones too. So really, we got a lot to choose from. <laughs> so we think we're going to do that. Trying to get something out of the freezer, and. Uh, probably a salad with it uh, my my lettuce out there is pretty well gone there's so, there's a little bit left um, okay I got a taste test everybody I think this will go good really uh, really good with coffee and I got these at grocery outlet they came like this and it's like a box really for it looks like for retail sale because you can cut, take the top off at an angle here and you would see the cookies you know in these packages so i think that's something like you would set on a counter of a, a gas station convenience store or something but i can imagine they'd be expensive like this you know that in a place like that but uh, you can find tate's uh, cookies though at walmart and i know they're at kroger as well the bags of them um, like I said, these, but I got this for $2.99, and there's eight of these in there with two cookies each. So, 16 uh, Tate's cookies for $2.99, that's a real deal. So, we, we did good. Uh, okay, and there's no nutrition facts on that box, so let me look on the package itself. 
Okay, here we go. Okay, if you eat both cookies, it's 140 calories. Uh, total fat, 7 grams, that's 9%. Saturated fat, 4.5 grams, 22%. That's your chocolate. Trans fat, 0. Cholesterol, 25 milligram, 8%. Sodium, 106, 160 milligrams, that's 7%. 18 grams of carbs, 7%. Uh, less than 1 gram of fiber, 2%. Sugars, 12 grams, and 12 grams added, it's 24%. That's not real terrible. There's a lot of worse things like a candy bar or something. Uh, two grams of protein and six percent of iron so not bad. And it doesn't have a whole lot of ingredients so that's good. I see ch uh, sugar you know I don't see I don't know if they would even use high fructose for stuff like this but it doesn't have a lot of uh, ingredients so that tells me it's you know not as processed as some. Uh, Got a little tray up in here. There's two of them. I think the chocolate's about melted in here. <laughs> so, break a piece off. Oh. Getting chocolate out of here. Excuse me. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. You know, I think we tried these, but it was like a couple of years ago. One of our viewers sent them to, to us. Mmm. Wow. Mm. Well, mm. they're delicious. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it's so good with the coffee. Oh, my goodness. Um, you know, really, I'm looking at, you know, looking at the nutrition facts. 140 calories. 22% saturated fat. And then the sugar, 24%. Um, you know, I've seen a lot worse uh, things. So, I'm going to give this like a three... And three quarters out of out of five, three and three point seven five out of five for the nutrition facts. And wow, uh, they taste like homemade. Um, five out of five for the taste. Oh my goodness, that's good, good, good. And it's really good with some coffee. Okay, today's tidbits. Heats in the in a lot of them. Uh, what makes heat waves such a deadly weather condition? Heat is a deadly weather condition that kills more people in the U.S. in an average year than hurricanes, tornadoes, and floods combined. Wow. Uh, heat kills in three major ways by causing organ failure, cardiovascular collapse, fluid, fluid loss leading to kidney failure. So it's important to watch out for symptoms like headache, lethargy and dizziness this is neat save food save earth geneva's fridge uh, crusade and if you notice this this refrigerator is like outside outside of a restaurant geneva's nonprofit free go is combating food waste and supporting eco conscious consumers with street side public refrigerators the fridges filled with perishables from restaurants and shops offer free access to anyone in need the program now expanded to four fridges aims to reduce food waste and promote sustainability that's that's a great thing 
Uh, Ohio kayakers rescued from in river after water levels surge. On Friday, two Ohio residents found themselves in need of rescue when their kayaks were, were carried away by rising water levels in the Whitewater River. The incident occurred in Franklin County, Indiana. The individuals had been kayaking since Thursday. Storms in the area caused the water levels to surge, leading to the kayaks being swept away. I'm glad they got them and rescued them. Ready to catch fireballs? Twin meteor showers this weekend. I, I never see them. It's always cloudy or something whenever they're supposed to ha you know, be able to see them. I, I never get to see them. I don't know what the deal is. Look up for fireballs this weekend during twin meteor showers. The southern delta aquarids and alpha capricornids will peak simultaneously on Sunday, July 30. Okay. Near, the nearly full sturgeon moon's brightness might interfere with viewing. <laughs> that figures. Uh, so experts suggest spotting shooting stars after 3 a.m. when the moon sets. Happy sky watching. Now, I, I don't know, 3 a.m.? I might check before I go to sleep or something, but I doubt that I'm going to go out there at 3 a.m. But it would be neat if you really saw something, you know? Uh, I mean, saw a lot of it or something. Okay. Let's see. Doo -doo -doo -doo. There it is. I was thinking there was something else from... Uh, I'm not going to look for it very long. But I don't know what happened to it. There was another one in here from Grocery Outlet. They, they have a lot of different like little ads. Okay, I think it was um, the, the weekend deal or something. Or maybe I already showed you all that. No, that was the regular ad I showed. Okay, anyway, if I see it, I'll show you. Okay, let's see. This is, I think this is interesting. A jolt to the brain, targeted electrical stimulation during sleep may enhance memory. I might need that. <laughs> Some kind of, here's the picture. I don't know. Uh, multiple studies have determined that sleep plays an active role in our ability to form memories and recall information. Something anyone who stayed up all night before an exam can attest to. But the mechanics of that connection have yet to be definitely proven. Now researchers have provided the first physiological evidence of how the brain consolidates memories during sleep, and they did so with the help of a little electricity. Publishing their work in Nature Neuroscience on June 1, scientists from the University of California, Los Angeles, and Tel Aviv University found that deep brain electrical stimulation via brain electrodes during non-REM sleep increased studies, study participants' ability to recall information they learned the night before. The experiment, which took place over two nights and mornings, confirmed a dominant theory suggesting that the brain's memory center, the hippocampus, uh, interacts with the cerebral cortex during sleep to help transform experiences into long-lasting memories. This provides the first major evidence down to the level of single neurons that there is indeed a, this mechanism of interaction between the memory hub and the entire cortex. Study author Dr. Ishtag Fried said in a pr press release from UCLA, There is both scientific value in terms of understanding how memory works in humans and using that knowledge to really boost memory. Okay, let's see. How about, well, that's that's kind of like an ad, if you ask me. How about scientists find evidence of communication in dozens of sea creatures thought to be non-vocal? Mm, does that have a picture? It shows a sea turtle. Communication is a fundamental building block for living creatures to form connections within their communities and some of that communication is obvious. Dogs bark, birds chirp, lions roar, and humans speak. 
Some animals, however, including turtles, have long been assumed to be silent until now. A recent study authored by Gabriel Georgiewicz Cohan at the University of Zurich in Switzerland collected evidence of audible communication between sea creatures that had previously been miscategorized as non-vocal. I thought that was kitty. The research suggests animals that communicate vocally have may have a common ancestor that dates back more than 400 million years. The study focused on collecting records from 53 species, 50s of, of which were turtles. Um, researchers have often overlooked turtle noises, assuming they were accidental or only defensive in nature. Let's see if they've got a... No? No quote of the day, everybody. All right, everybody, that's going to be it for morning coffee break today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great day. Check out Garden Update later on, everybody. Have a great one, and God bless.